Let's move on. I don't know. <sighs> it's so cramped in all these fluffy colors. Now for today's train news. Cold wave expected to accompany snowfall in Tokyo. It is likely that a large cold wave will hit the Kanto region. Wait, what? I read that right. <laughs> see, when I see that, I'm thinking something completely different because I'm playing Pokemon at the same time. <laughs> Companies with high employee satisfaction on the rise. Many workers have provided a very positive, res very positive responses. Crime rate reaches record-breaking low. Number of incidents is down by more than half compared to last year. <sighs> Snow. Ugh, it's gotten really cold lately. Morning. Morning. It's another cold day. Hey. You know, the public's been acting kind of weird lately, huh? Even the people around me start are talking differently now. Or they're really weirdly optimistic. It's the same thing in town, too. Everyone seems kind of restless. Is this part of Maruki's power? This is part of Maruki's power, too, isn't it? It's possible. Thanks. Yeah, I guess it hasn't happened to everyone yet. But if we don't change Maruki's heart by the deadline, we're not going to realize that something is wrong anymore. We have to win, no matter what. That is true. Oh, have you heard? I was talking to my friends from overseas recently. They keep introducing me to new slang I never heard of. Well, English is constantly evolving with the times. Textbook English is more static. So lame. But sometimes you can find... You, uh, sometimes you can work out the meaning of slang through context clues. Some are just natural extensions of the English language constructs that have already been in place for years. Others uh, might combine now in the woods, or use common phrases, or new, uh, in, or in, in new or unusual ways. Take thirsty, for instance. Ordinarily, it describes a need for a drink. That's pretty serious need, right? But as slang, someone describes it. It describes someone who's a little too desperate, like a boy who won't stop asking you out. Oh, and hangry. That's when you're hungry, it puts you on edge, and everything makes you mad. I need an answer. So here's a test, Mr. Amemaya. Would you say you're feeling a little salty? What would salty mean if I use this the slang scent? Um. Alright, that'll help. Uh, so we need to figure out what salty means in the slang sense. Uh, some clue words into it. You can tell someone's... You can... You can call someone sweet, right? What does that mean when s describing a person? That they're kind-hearted. Yeah, you're right. And that's a pretty positive connotation. So, what is the connotation would salty have in the context? A little bit negative. Yeah, I think so too. After all the people who only describe food as salty, when salt overpowers everything else... So, if it's a negative connotation, then, it would mean someone has, someone's feeling bad somehow, and probably something you can say about yourself or other people. So, with all that in mind, salty probably means that you're resentful. Nice. Yeah, I think so, too. That makes me think someone who's already, uh, who's ready to pick a fight, you know? So if you call someone salty, that means you're pro- they're angry or resentful. Yeah, that was a rough one. This is it. Good. Excellent! It means you resent something. All the flavor-based descriptors apply to people, too, like sweet or sour. Slang can be rooted in many origins. Common words, acronyms, and of course, 
Botanimo. I, I, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why am I running into all... Again, it's one of these things. I read it, it's one thing. But I go to pronounce it, that's something else entirely. Uh, this is the one series that will not ever stop. Portmanteau. That makes sense. Uh... Oh. That makes sense. It's actually the, um... Uh, it's a leather suitcase. It has a hinge compartment. Or a word formed by merging the sounds of... and meaning of two different words. Like, chortle. From Chuckle and Snort. Pormentos. I have you heard of the word frenemy? A pormento, a friend and enemy. Think of something like a rival, or an enemy who acts friendly towards you. Oh, wow, you're pretty smart. Nice you're on a roll today. So basically, frenemy is <laughs> a catchy to a T. So, more fun than stuffy old standard English, right? But it's good to learn the roys before you break them. If anyone wants to learn extra slang vocab, I would be positively psyched to offer you some bonus lessons. Hmm. Friends, huh? I've had enough of backstabbing. Ain't that the truth? All right. You look tired. Wanna blow off some steam at the batting cages? Well, not clean. Now uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Ayusuke, alright. Well, underground walkway. Hi. Ah, uh, Ren, what brings you here? See you? Could I have a moment uh, of your time? If I may. Could I ask you for some of your time right now? There's something I must tell you, if I'm able to continue onward. Sounds like Yusuke has something on his mind. Hey, hey! Yusuke. So what's the plan? Are you gonna spend the day with Yusuke? Yeah. I'm in your debt. My thanks. Please, come with me. You have my thanks. Now you can see the uh, cubism <laughs> in the background. Uh, <laughs> Yusuke's attempt at uh, painting on. I know my call was rather sudden. I can only apologize. Uh, we've already decided to we're going to oppose Dr. Maruki, so I know it's far too late to say anything, but... Why can't you look at me? I just can't keep averting my eyes from the truth. I betrayed you, and all we stand for. How can I pretend I'm still worthy of our lofty ideals or your support? I... I... I'm an utterly hopeless fool. Nah, you're just kind of weird. No. <laughs> Where's this coming from? Forgive me. I, let me start from the beginning. Yes. You gave me my strength. You taught me to face the truth without fear. That strength, that anger, is how I rose up against Madarame. I saw him for the fraud he was and freed myself from his lies. And just look at me what I've become. Dr. Maruki gave me a false security. He showed me a life spun from my deepest desires and the fool that I am, I welcomed it. What indescribable humiliation! How could I be such a detestable, narrow-minded sheep of a man? Hey, calm down. I, I cannot! Uh, this is no time for calm. And you, you of all people deserve to shame me, but you still say nothing. I betrayed you! I've spat 
spat on every principle of art, and more than that, I have spat on all that you did to help me find my answers. I... I... nothing. I'm not even worth the empty words I spoke. I can't even bring myself to look you in the eye. Forgive me, Ren. Such is the human heart. Are our hearts truly so deluded? Are we foolish enough to cling to these misguided fantasies? You offer me mercy I do not deserve. There's no beauty in this. I think mercy is the beauty, though. I was a slave to my own hubris all along. How do I how did I ever believe the meaning of true beauty was within my grasp? Full, lost in dreams. I mean, it's a beginning, but it's not the end. Oh. I see. Perhaps there is truth in that. I can only apologize. You saved me from repeating my mistakes once more. Compared to my grand legacy of my mother's art, still but a chick toddling in her shadow as she soars. I dreamed of flying at her side, yet for all my leaps of faith, I only plummeted from my nest again and again. I... What I needed was a teacher. To grasp the beauty of my mother's work, I needed a guiding hand to offer criticism and validation as I earned it. But why was I so convinced my teacher must be someone in the art world? <laughs> After all, I have a friend like you. <laughs> and our talks together have already led me to so many beautiful revelations. Some personal space, please. Oh, my apologies. I got ahead of myself. At my point stands, I believe there is a great deal I can learn from you. Indeed. And if that's true, then I found my teacher, and with him, the path truly grasping my mother's heart. I will not lose my way again. Let us walk that path together. Also, I like that painting to the left. It looks cool. You only get like a glimpse of some of his paintings in this one scene, and it's insane. Also, this just reminds me of Shaman King. I'm sorry, but that I see. that outfit right there just makes me think of one of those guys. I forget the guy's name. It's been like how many years since that anime was around? <laughs> I know they were going to redo it at some point, but golly, this this outfit makes me think of that. <laughs> Because of the guy having a pompadour and everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kamu Susan Susano has transformed into Gorokichi. Ren, this reality of ideals and perfections is not wholly wrong. In truth, there are parts I find most painfully beautiful. However, you have, you have helped me to see clearly again. I believe I wish to return to our own reality. It suits me far better to paint with both ugliness and beauty upon my palette. That's a use game, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Let us return to our true home, to the reality where I discovered true beauty. Hold a moment. But, at first... You know what they say about fighting on an empty stomach? Well, that was your stomach? Jeez, it sounded like a motor. <laughs> that reminds me, I haven't offered you any tea yet. And you brought some sort of treat with you, didn't you? <laughs> Is that sweet bean jelly? Or maybe some baked dessert? Or, like, dorayaki? <laughs> or perhaps you bought... I'm uh -huh. in your debt. Thank you for spending all this time with me. See you again soon. All right. He has now gotten unparalleled eyes. 
may increase allies' chance to avoid physical attacks. Really good. Uh, he also gets Yaka Ryo, Ryo Run. I, I don't know. It's basically uh, what Rin can do with Thermopile. So, I, it's better than this, definitely. But, eh. I, we can get what we want out of Thermopile. And the only reason I would say this works better is if you want Ren, if like you use Debilitate and he uses this move, that will kind of help where you're not having to spend too many turns uh, not attacking. So there is that. Thought as much. Uh, I thought I figured you'd be back soon. All right. Uh, and I'm going to be leaving right away. <laughs> My bad. I want to see if there is a pull queue to purchase down here. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but I'm going to check nonetheless. What would you like? Uh, jump queue. Yep. Uh, we're also going to head to the airsoft shop. New Year's crowd usually isn't dr this darn peppy. Just look at him. It's driving me nuts. Well, at least you're still as laid back as ever. So, what do you want today? Want to shop? Yo. Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. A million. Oh my goodness. All right. And now customization is completely free. So. Okay. Keep that in mind. Sounds good. Um, the air is dry. Huh? You got too better not use it to pull a prank. What do you? Who do you think I am, dude? Hmm. That don't break it, okay? That's what you're choosing. How's that? I'm gonna just be hmm, buying I all of like the it. guns at this point because I have the money for it. That's what you're too better not use it to pull a prank. How's that? That's what you like it? Because I don't How's know that? if, um. That's what don't break it, okay? What would be the like most it. effective as far as getting. That's what you're. How's that? Okay, you have that. Customize. All right. All right. Which one? For a shotgun, I gotta recommend the Mega Power Receiver. With that kind of blast, I don't even know how far they'd fly. That's not bad. That's the HR. So with this having an uh, HR, must be scheming to do something. Yeah. Mm, not good. I don't think calamity guns gonna be any better. Even oh no, it, it actually. In the winter, Wait. be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. It is. Four oh six. Oh. The air is okay, dry, it's so better for be that specific. Oh, okay. Never mind. I need to go back to reversion when I go back. That's good. That. Even though it gets dry in the winter, be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. 434. The air is dry, so be careful when you're handling gunpowder. That's what your chip sure thing. No. We won't worry about that. Uh. 384. Okay, so I would do. Uh, that's a very serious expression. Take your time and look around. Hmm, that good. Yeah, that's way better damage. But even though it gets dry in the winter, be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. So that is going to be better damage. That's what you choose, sure thing. The SMG's not going to win any awards for power, but 
With the right receiver, they can still pack a hell of a punch. All right. 420 versus 455. How about a for the well, that's, well, that's just a PR. That's not an HR. After all. Mm, that was good. It would have to be... The air is dry, so be careful yeah. when you're handling guns. That's what you're choosing. Sure thing. No. Uh, judges end. That's definitely a much better uh, firearm. And... Mm, good. Let me tell you, you put a mega power receiver on a grenade launcher, once the dust clears, there'd be nothing left of them. That's what your choose sure thing. Uh, one's just going to be Let more accurate you, than the other, because that's a 35 accuracy. A uh, at this point, the dust clears, um, you would uh, you would have to have be like the the stuff to give her better accuracy, because otherwise it's just like not even worth it. Uh, 427. If you want it to look dangerous, how about a fiery red? <laughs> Nobody's going to miss when that goes off. Not that you're firing these at people, right? No, we're not. You, you don't have to worry. We're not actually Even doing it. Even it gets that. dry in the winter, be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. The air's mm, good. Okay, so the five... Red five is better. All right, which one? Um, only problem is that it lacks power, so maybe you could upgrade its receiver. And then again, this is really more of a period piece. So, even though it gets dry in the winter, be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. Yeah, I'm going to keep it at the accuracy it's at. Uh, come again. All right. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to keep that. All right. There we go. Uh... Oh yeah, and there's other stuff too. Um, Yo. there's so much. It's like, okay. well, Sounds there's good. this, and then. The selling point and then of this month's new arrival is its design. Okay, so you have what now? Reduced physical damage, low. But this That's isn't what better than what you got. Don't sell it. Uh, Unio Jarius. Yeah, no, that's. I don't mind keeping that. Uh, All melee right. weapon. All right, lines. which one? The air's dry, so be careful when you're handling gunpowder. A guillotine saber, dread saber. Sounds good. It may seem like, hey, this seems like a bit much, but honestly, this is going to be the last time we do any of the equipment stuff, so it's kind of necessary. Alright, so what we're going to do now is head to the billiards again. Now that we've done that... Welcome! What do you play? Uh, let's play some billiards. What do you want to do? Thank you! All right, let's get started. <laughs> this intensity right before the game starts, I love it! The way the balls are positioned it may be difficult to... Have, it, it, I need a difficult shot to clear this. 
that cute. Ten. Are you going for that shot? Nice. Nice. That was a perfect jump shot. That was amazing. That was too good. I'm stunned. I knew you could do it. You actually pulled off that shot. That's why you're our leader. Looks like your challenge brought everyone together. All right, we're now rank three. Uh, we do even more technical damage, and uh, we get oh, we got the knockdown right. Okay, so the next one is it will knock down the enemy. Right. That was fun, huh? Even if you don't win, it's just fun to sink the balls into the pockets. Glad everyone had fun. Gotta say, though, wow. thanks to playing billiards, you've gotten more experience with precise hand movements, haven't you? And that increases proficiency. That was time well spent. Look at how much time we spent. It, it was a fulfilling time. It, and what a fulfilling time it was. Hey there. Sorry to interrupt your fun. Looks like you're trying to learn technical shots. Let's see. I think you'll be able to pull off a really advanced shot. It's called a mass shot. It allows a ball to make a sharp... Uh, whoops! I suppose there isn't much point to me explaining it now. Let me give you this book. I think it'll be quite useful to you. The Billiards Magician. Mass shot, huh? Well, if you're confident with your proficiency, you might... Uh, you should give it a try next time. See ya! Well, see ya! You do have to read that book. 